who oh oh young Trace a uh, little Tracy whatever his name is little Tracy's a bitch ass nigga man um straight up nigga basically is accused of raping some chick he's a Zandau fiend okay um who's been hospitalized multiple times near on his deathbed I hope he doesn't die but god damn it let's just put it out there now the nigga is a fucking fiend all right he doesn't have problems the nigga has a problem with his own identity, his whatever, bisexual, whatever the fuck you want to call it, he's a fucking fiend, right, and um, I want to have a little bit of, I don't want to, you know, we live in the time of you got to be nice to every fucking, like, <laughs> degenerate, so I don't want to get at him because he's an addict, but um, essentially, he's accused of drugging and raping some, some chicks, now, truth be told, this is, again, he secured a lawyer, to try to scare everybody who mentioned the story, including the chick. That's why the girl is not even speaking again. Because I, I don't think the girl even knows her own rights. Like, shorty, if you really... Again, I don't know if she's on some some um, cloud chasing shit. But if you really are a victim, like, him threatening to, like, sue you for speaking up, that shouldn't matter if you really are a victim. Now, if you're lying, it does. Anyway, she's she got threatened. Hot New Hip Hop got threatened. He threatened me. I was really going to respond to his little lawyer to say, suck a dick. Uh, Tracy, you're a grown-ass man who lives in an apartment with three other niggas. You can't talk to me, son, okay? I'm sorry to say, okay, I'll wrap your ass up with legal fees. You can't do that to me. You're a bum nigga. That's, that's facts. Um, but, yeah, he threatened or he sent, like, a cease and desist off of that. Uh, obviously, there is a uh, portion of that that people are going to look at and be like, well, there's the Angelica thing and... Shit, maybe that's why he, like, I've covered a lot of stories about a lot of people. I've never seen someone that quick to send legal shit at me. Regardless, I look at it like, yo, you niggas are hell-bent on calling me a snitcher or whatever or try to intimate that I'm snitching when I'm doing my job. Yet, y'all the niggas who get the cops. Y'all get the goddamn media. Well, no, not media, but the, the law involved. And, yeah, I'll sit up here and say it, and I, I wish his lawyer would sue me. Lil Tracy's accused of raping a chick. D did he do it? I don't know. But... After seeing all the evidence, it sounds like his M.O., <laughs> okay? So, Tracy, stop drugging, bitches. Get off the drugs yourself. Those chest pains and those you going to the hospital, when you die, we're not going to martyr you like your little peep. We're just going to say this is a bum nigga who really died over some shit. So, please, get off the drugs, okay? I don't want you to die either because, yeah. <laughs> Aisha Curry, and, and um, that was harsh. Tell nigga to get off the drugs, okay? Tell him to stop complaining about chest pains. Nigga, you're fucking zanned up like a fiend, okay? You, you have zero problems in life. You're just unsuccessful and little peeps like fucking, like shadows, so like you're fucking disgruntled. Get off the drugs. If you didn't take a million fucking prescription drugs that's not prescribed to you every fucking day, and you didn't drown out your fucking homosexual or bisexual thoughts, you wouldn't be going through this, my nigga. Get the fuck off the drugs. Like, most of these niggas got nothing wrong with them. They have this complex of what they thought success and entertainment and this lifestyle was, and it disappointed them like it disappoints everybody. Because being famous and being in the industry is nothing more than just... A check every month and a shit ton of headaches. Get the fuck over it, nigga. We're not feeling sorry for you, all right? <laughs> I'm telling you this right now. This nigga almost overdosed like three times in the last year. Off the rip, he has zero mental issues. I want to say that because people around him have seen this nigga has an addiction. The people around him is fueling the addiction. So if ever, anything ever happened to this bitch nigga... I don't want people to sit here and act like he's the most holiest nigga. This nigga has a problem. He's seen his best friend pass away because of his drugs, and he's still on some shit. Tracy, get some help. All right? Don't get lawyers. Get help. You need rehab. Anyway.